Tara. I'm Dean. And we met 15 years ago or so. She's had other relationships, and I've had other relationships with crazy women that we kind of always come back to each other. Okay, thank God. Good. I think our lifestyles, how they affect our relationship, is that um, we're both really busy. Hey, look. Well, you made it. I did. What's I up, you guys? I found her. Hi. Thank Hi. you. I'm Jim. Nice to meet you, Jim. He's always out at night. And a lot of times I have to be up in the morning early, so even our clock, our time zones are just completely off. Is this my schedule? See, Dean, meet after work. See, this it's your schedule, and it's like you're trying to pencil me in. See, Dean, question mark, Dean, question mark. Uh, you know, Dean, cancel. The one thing that I would like Dean to work on while we're in the house is communication. We're scared to, to hurt. lose each other and hurt each other, so we're extra protective and, like, we might not always say to each other what we should. To talk to each other more and share our feelings but about. I think listen, right? Yeah, listen. See, I was listening. Perfect. Yeah. You know, we want to be happy and be together and make it work out and, you know, have you guys kind of guide us through the way. But if that's your goal, then we're going to help you get there. But it is not going to be easy. I would definitely be afraid to lose Dean. He is my best friend and I couldn't even think about being in life without them. Open your hearts and get to the places that are very, very raw and vulnerable. Okay, so do we try to make it a romantic thing and lose each other's best friends, or do you just stay with where we're at? And that's kind of what, why we're at Marriage Boot Camp, to kind of figure out those communications and figure out where we're at. If we can take the next step. Right.